So this tutorial is pretty simple. It's kind of an extension on my LUT tutorial. So here I'm just making my LUTs. I actually use Final Cut Pro. Um, I suggest you use whatever you're comfortable with, whether that's Lightroom, Photoshop, GIMP, even like Visco. I mean, anything really, as long as you're not losing quality. Um, but here you can see I actually just um, screenshotted one square of the <laughs> of the base lookup table and I used that for the background and I shift the hue of the LUT for the foreground. So if you just go up ahead and open up as the template for the segmentation and okay so what you're going to want to do is download and drag in the fast color LUT patch. Uh, from Josh Beckwith and then drag so drag two of those in and connect up the camera texture to the texture input and then go ahead and make a patch for the texture of the background material and then make a texture for the user material and you're just going to want to connect those up to the fast color LUT patches. And then you're going to want to drag in your LUT images, making sure that they're high quality and tick no compression. Then drag them into your patch editor and connect what, the one that you want to use for the background up to the background one and the one that you want for the foreground to the foreground one. And I think this is a nice effect because you can kind of like, it's a simple way to kind of like add a subtle glitch. Like you see, I've got the banding effect, which would normally you wouldn't want, but um, if you're going for that kind of look, then it can be quite nice if it's just applied to the background because then it looks, um, it's not as full on or not over the top. Um, also, I'm working on a series of videos and um, if you want early access to them and the ability to download my tattoo textures and some other textures, I've actually set up a Patreon so you can head over there and for the small price of a couple dollars, you can support me and get early content, early videos. So thanks for watching. If this video helped you, hit like, subscribe if you haven't. If you make an effect using this tutorial, tag me on Instagram at onamatters love to see what you guys are making and um, stay tuned because there's a lot more coming.